Hi everyone, I'm Jake Vance from the machine learning team at Zendesk. In our last video, you learned how to turn on and get started with our advanced AI. Now that it's on and you are enriching your tickets with helpful insights, let's review some tips for taking it to the next level and achieving service excellence with our advanced AI. From watching this video, you'll receive actionable tips on how to do the following with our advanced AI solution. Automate to boost agent efficiency. Deflect high confidence intents, giving agents more time to focus on more complex issues. Personalize to drive customer loyalty. Enhance your workflows. And continuously learn from and improve your CX operations with AI. First, let's target automation. The triage function is a standard practice across most organizations. Uh, by using language enrichments from Intelligent Triage, we can quickly remove the need for an agent to manually route that subset of tickets. Uh, so here we can quickly configure a trigger. Uh, I have some base settings included already. And then we're going to look for the language. In this case, I'm going to pick Portuguese. And then we can route any of these tickets to the appropriate group. A similar approach could be taken based on an intent, group of intents, uh, even sentiment if you wanted to, just to make sure that the requests end up in the right place. Next, let's consider an opportunity to deflect an inbound ticket. With our new auto reply trigger action, a trigger can be configured to reply directly to the customer while adding the message to the body of the ticket. This brings transparency for your agents so that they can see what bots have said previously to the customer to not repeat themselves or provide redundant information. Many of our customers spend time helping their customers reset their passwords. This process rarely changes, so it's an opportunity to point the user in the right direction before needing an agent to assist them. We have some base conditions on this trigger, such as the ticket being a new ticket. Uh, the tag does not contain the auto reply tag that we will apply later, and that the confidence is high, and that the intent that the machine learning service has applied had a high score, meaning that the customer's message was very likely one of the options that we select in our next conditions. Uh, and then we can see in the meet any of the following conditions, a couple different intents that are related to uh, being unable to reset the password or looking for instructions to change the password. Then through our actions, we have the auto reply notification that we can send the instruction to the customer on how to reset their password, as well as the application of the auto reply tag, uh, again, to prevent that redundant notification going to the customer and we can set the ticket to solved, but the customer can of course reply and then our ticket will reopen for our agents to help them. And then here's just an example of what this looks like within the ticket. Uh, we can see uh, my customer, myself in this case, uh, reached out asking how to reset the password and the trigger was able to reply and provide guidance on how to reset the password and solving the ticket. With the release of the advanced AI, Zendesk had messaging in mind as well. We've released pre-trained intents in the bot conversations to provide a simpler way to decipher what end users are saying and allow for bots to handle their tickets accordingly. Uh, in this sample flow, we're targeting customers who are loyal shoppers, but are curious about a price change or promo code. Through the configuration tool, I've selected the intents I want to target involving pricing and promo codes. Within the flow, we can make an API call to our commerce system to check that the customer's loyalty tier. Based on that response, we can have the bot automatically reply with a 25% promo code or a 5% promo code based on that customer's loyalty. Now let's consider another way we can enhance our workflows. I have a group of new agents on my team and I want to allow them to focus on upscaling rather than needing to deal with upset or escalated customers. By leveraging sentiment within the triggers, you could send negative and very negative customers to tenured agents who are experienced in handling those tough situations and leave the other cases for the new folks to learn on the job. I have my trigger configured here already uh, and it includes my tag for omnichannel routing. And then in this case where I wanna add some sentiment values, because I wanna pick more than one, we're gonna go under the meets any condition and we can match sentiment with being negative and with being very negative. And then with this trigger, we're gonna route it to our level two group so that omni-channel routing will take care of assigning that to one of the agents within that group. Implementing these workflow changes is great, but how do you know where to get started? We can listen to agents, we can listen to customers, 
uh, figure out where you know where the toughest spots within the support interaction can be. Uh, but also, since intelligent triage enrichments are applied to custom ticket fields, you can build explore reports to target the metrics which matter to you. As you can see from the overview here, we can watch for trending issues, break down intents by volume, CSAT, reply time, and we can re review similar enrichments for language and sentiment. Additionally, you can drill in further by specific intents or teams or however you break down your data. Uh, I took an example here to look at uh, my finance and billing issues and what sort of uh, metrics we might be able to tie to those. Uh, there's some cases here where I see high volume tickets and we can see uh, the group stations for these sorts of tickets are getting reassigned quite a bit. So we can drill into that data to find out which groups are these going to, are there inefficiencies within those workflows? Those are easy to target. We also can break things down by things like first reply time, uh, so if we're taking a long time to get to a ticket and there's a high volume of these tickets, in this case, I looked for any volume of tickets over 50, uh, then we can try to drill in and see why is it taking us so long to get to those cases. And then finally, also resolution. Uh, if it's taking longer to solve a specific type of ticket, uh, this gives you some deeper insight into what might be going on within those workflows. And you can use you know, the, the historical information that you know from your own workflows to mitigate these sorts of issues uh, that may be creeping into your workflows. That's all we have for the time allotted today. We hope these tips inspire you on what is possible and can be achieved with our advanced AI capabilities.